BJT BJT stands for Bipolar Junction Transistor Can be either NPN or PNP It contain three regions base, collector, and emitter. Base is a narrow region sandwiched between the larger collector and emitter regions. Emitter is heavily doped and emits electrons or holes into the base of the transistor. Base is very thin and is lightly doped. Collector region is moderately doped and is the largest of all three regions. Transistor construction. Transistor contains three regions emitter, base, and collector, and can be either BPNP or NPN, and contains two junctions, either base collector or base emitter junction. Hence the name bipolar junction of two junctions. Note, there are two junctions, so transistor can be considered as two diodes connected back to back. Emitter always forward bias with respect to base, so it can supply either electrons or holes carriers. In NPN, emitter supply electrons to its junction. In PNP, emitter supply holes to its junction. Forward current is the amount of current that enables electrons to jump across the junctions of the BJT. Collector. Always reverse bias with respect to base. NPN, collector receives holes to its junction. PNP, transistor collector receives electrons to its junction. Base. The middle section, which forms the junction PN junction between emitter and collector. Transistor operation. PNP transistor. Forward bias voltage or current is applied to emitter base junction and reverse bias is applied to collector base junction. The forward bias in the emitter base junction causes holes to move towards base. This constitute emitter current, i.e. As holes move towards n-type base, they try to recombine with electrons. As base is lightly doped, only few electrons recombine with holes within the base. These recombined holes constitute small base current. The remainder holes crosses base and constitute collector current. NPN transistor. Forward bias is applied to emitter base junction and reverse bias is applied to collector base junction. The forward bias in the emitter base junction causes electrons to move towards base. This constitute emitter current, i.e. As these electrons flow towards p-type base, they try to recombine with holes. As the base is lightly doped, only few electrons recombine with the holes within the base. These recombined electrons constitute small base current. The remainder electrons crosses base and constitute collector current. Therefore we come up with the equation, i.e. equal to i-b plus i-c. We will analyze them further. Transistor's BJT symbol for PNP and NPN are shown. Transistor BJT have three operating modes that are or one active mode. In this mode, base emitter junction is forward bias and base collector junction is reverse biased. Two, saturation mode. Base emitter junction is forward bias and base collector junction is forward bias. Three, cutoff mode. Both junctions are reverse biased. Now let's analyze transistors connection that are common base, common emitter and common collector. Common base connection, it can either be in PNP or NPN bipolar transistor. In this connection, we can come up with the current amplification factor denoted by letter alpha. Alpha equals to change in IC over change in IE. Practical value is less than unity, but in the range of 0.9 to 0.99. Expression of collector current. Total emitter current does not reach the collector terminal, because a small portion of it constitute base current, so, IE is equal to IB plus IC. Also collector diode is reverse biased, so very few minority carriers passes the collector base junction, which actually constitute leakage current. So collector current constitute of a portion of emitter current, alpha IE and leakage current ICBO. IC is equal to alpha IE plus ICBO. Let's consider this equation 1. In further calculations, 
IE equals to IB plus IC. Then place it in the equation 1. IC is equal to alpha times into bracket IC plus IB plus ICBO. Then IC times in bracket 1 minus alpha equals to alpha times IB plus ICBO. So, IC equals to alpha all over 1 minus alpha times IB plus ICBO all over 1 minus alpha. Characteristics of common base configuration. Input character. Characteristics. 1. VBE versus IE characteristics is called input characteristics. 2. IE increases rapidly with VBE. Hence resistance is very small. 3. IE almost independent of VCB. Output characteristics. 1. VBC versus IC characteristics is called output characteristics. 2. IC varies linearly with VBC, only when VBC is very small. 3. As VBC increases, IC becomes constant. Input and output resistance of common base configuration. Input resistance is the ratio of change in emitter base voltage to change in emitter current. R I equals to change in VBE all over change in IE. Output resistance is the ratio of change in collector base voltage to the change in collector current. R O equals to change in VBC all over change in IC. Common emitter configuration. Emitter is common to both the input and output sides of configuration. It can either be a PNP or on NPN. In this connection, we will get base current amplification factor denoted by letter beta. In common emitter connection input current is base current and output current is collector current. The ratio of change in base current is known as base current amplification factor. Beta equals to change in IC all over change in IB. Normally 5% of emitter current flows to base, so amplification factor is greater than 20. Usually the range of 20 to 500. Now let's relate alpha and beta. Relation between alpha and beta. Beta equals to change in IC all over change in IB. Alpha equals to change in IC all over change in IE. Therefore IE equals to IB plus IC. Further, change in IE equal to change in IB plus change in IC. Change in IB equals to change in IE minus change IC. Therefore beta equals to change in IC over change in IE, all over change in IE over change in IE minus change in IC over change in IE. Hence, beta equals to alpha all over 1 minus alpha. Beta also is change in IC all over change in IE minus change in IC. Expression for collector current. IC equals to alpha IE plus ICBO. IE equals to IB plus IC, which therefore, IE plus in bracket alpha IE plus ICBO. IE into bracket 1 minus alpha equals IB plus ICBO. IE equals to IB all over 1 minus alpha plus ICBO all over 1 minus alpha. IC to IE equals to in bracket beta plus 1 times IB plus in bracket beta plus 1 times ICBO. Characteristics of common emitter configuration. Input characteristics. 1. VBE versus IB characteristics is called input characteristics. 2. IB increases rapidly with VBE. It means input resistance is very small. 3. IE almost independent of VCE. Fuck IB is of range of microamps. Output characteristics. 1. VCE versus IC characteristics is called output characteristics. 2. IC varies linearly with VCE, only when VCE is very small. 3. As VCE increases, IC becomes constant. Input and output resistance of common emitter configuration. Input resistance. The ratio of change in emitter base voltage to the change in base current is called input resistance. RI equals to change in VB to change in IB. Output resistance. The ratio of change in collector emitter voltage to the change in collector current is called output resistance. RO equals to change in VCE to change in IC. Common collector configuration. Collector is common to both input and output sides of configuration. 
it can either be PNP or NPN. Its connection will get current amplification factor denoted by letter Y. Input current is base current and output current is emitter current. The ratio of change in emitter current to the change in base current is known as amplification factor in common collector configuration. Y equals to change in IE to change in IB. Relation between Y and alpha. Y equals to change in IE to change in IB. Therefore, it is change in IE all over change in IE minus change in IC. Alpha is change in IC to change in IE. Y is change in IE over change in IE all over change in IE over change in IE minus change in IC over change in IE. Therefore Y is 1 all over 1 minus alpha. Expression for collector current. IC equals to alpha times IE plus ICBO. IE equals to IB plus IC, which therefore IB plus in bracket alpha IE plus ICBO. IE into 1 minus alpha equals to IB plus ICBO. IE equals to IB over 1 minus alpha plus ICBO over 1 minus alpha. IC to IE equals to in bracket beta plus 1 times IB plus beta plus 1 times ICBO. Transistor as amplifier. Due to small changes in base current the collector current will mimic the input with greater amplitude. Explanation Battery VBB is connected with base in order to make base forward biased, regardless of input AC polarity. Output is taken across load R. During positive half cycle input AC will keep the emitter base junction more forward biased. So more carrier will be emitted by emitter, this huge current will flow through load and we will find output amplified signal. During negative half cycle input AC will keep the emitter base junction less forward biased. So less carrier will be emitted by emitter. Hence collector current decreases. This result in decreased output in opposite direction. Characteristics of bipolar junction transistor. BJT have better voltage gain and high current density, but also have a low forward voltage. BJT can operate in low to high power application. BJT have a large gain bandwidth. It will show better performance at high frequency. Applications of BJT. BJTs are commonly used in switching, amplification, clipping circuits, oscillators, timing circuits, detector or modulator, voltage regulator, audio amplification, radio frequency, RF, amplifiers, medical instrumentation, public address systems and others. I hope you found this video informative, and if you did kindly subscribe, like and share. See you in the next one.